Yeah, but Debbie, YouTube, what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Zockstar. Once again, coming at you with another vlog. Yes, I'm feeling like crap. Um, we're checking out of the Hotel XYZ and we're heading off to Cebu. Um, hopefully, my condition will improve and I can continue on with this adventure. So, I hope you can join me. Um, We'll see you at the airport. Excess luggage. Nice. Okay, so here we are now at the boarding lounge, boarding area. It's 8 o'clock. Our flight leaves at 9.35. Uh, last time we were here, this area was packed. Packed like sardines. But as you can see now, there's not, not that many people here. Hopefully this will be a smooth transition from Taklaban to Cebu. Just landed. It was scheduled to board at 9.05, but it's just arrived. So it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a delay. It's typical, but hopefully it's not too long.
Okay, here we go. Getting ready for takeoff. Takloban, goodbye. Hopefully our driver's here, we can jump straight in the van and be on our way.
Maybe I should help. Is that one? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Are you sure. Yes. Yeah, oh. Clumsy. Can you tell you stay in here? You bring the van here? We wait here. Okay. I, my wife, I'll get my wife, I'll get her to come here. Okay, I found our driver. Let's go this way. Just said for us to wait here because he's going to bring the car around. Yeah. Put my glasses. I didn't touch your glasses. I'll put them in here. Huh? I'll put them in here. I've really lost the glasses. Okay, we're in the van, we're on our way to Oslo. Our driver Pablo says it's three and a half hours, so let's hope it's a smooth three and a half hours and it goes faster than what we anticipate. So, it doesn't look like there's much traffic, but this is um, Maktan, Maktan Island. We need to cross of some sort I guess to get to the mainland and then we'll see what that looks like once we cross that so fingers crossed there's no one on the road and phew, we can get there rapido so this is the main bridge leaving Maktan airport or Maktan this island this is the first bridge to separate the Mak uh, to Mak Maktan island and Bandawi so there's two bridges or just one? Oh, there's another one over there. Wow. So there's two main bridges connecting Mukden Island to the mainland. Is that the new bridge over there? Yeah. That's the it's new the one. New bridge. It's the old bridge. It's the old bridge. Mandawi city. Yeah, that's that's what they want to get rid of, even in here in Cebu. This one here. Yeah. All of that, all the way down there and down the other side, they want to clean that up because... So I don't know. They just want to clear them out because if there's a, if a storm if a storm surge comes here, they all get wiped out. They just want to clear them out and get them, get them to safety.
Lakeside City SA Mall. The biggest SA Mall in Cebu. That guy just lost his hat on the road. But he came back. <laughs> come back on the wrong side of the road just to get his hat. Hours, we have arrived at HA's place. Might be a ride, heaps of traffic, but we made it in one piece. Let's wait for the Pedro to park the car and then we can get out. Okay. Hello, happy new year. AJ's place, Beach Resort, in Oslo. This is where we're staying for the next seven days. No, next three days. Hello. Just wheel it slowly. Just wheel it slowly. Bend it over. Bend it over. No, it's like that. Just go slowly. What? Just go slowly. Okay, so we've made it here, guys, to AJ's place in Oslo. Down there's the check-in counter. You can buy some drinks down there. There's a couple of souvenirs you can buy. I'm not sure how many rooms there are. I think there's two downstairs, two upstairs, and one just over there. We're staying in the, on the top floor here. It's quite nice. It looks like it's reasonably modern. Little terrace here, little table, two chairs. Maybe. This is the room.
very modern. Flat screen TV. Got a brand new split system air conditioner. Got a, a ceiling fan. These cool LED lights up in the, I don't know what they call that, like a step up ceiling. You have a cupboard here, four drawers. For use of slippers. Real slippers or thongs as we call them in Australia. This is the bathroom. Very clean. Probably one of the cleanest places I've seen. shower. Most of the places I come to here in the Philippines the shower heads are extremely close to the floor at this place. This place seems to accommodate for the for the extra large. Glass bricks to let some natural light in. Got an exhaust fan up there. Most places we stay in don't have an exhaust fan, so it's always nice to see an exhaust fan, especially when you're trying to shower and there's no no window that you can open. Again, one another thing I've noticed in most of the accommodations in the Philippines is the shower. There's no no opening for the windows, but You've got an exhaust fan that helps just to get rid of the, the moisture, <clears throat> the humidity. And the best thing about this place is the view. We're right on the beach front right here. The wire watching happens just just in behind that tree there. A bit of vegetation here, a lot of these big trees here provide shade when the sun's out. So, got some beach cottages down here, some kubo kubos, tiki huts, or there's a few different names for them. But There you have it guys and gals, this is AJ's place, resort in Oslo. I found this place not on Agoda or Booking.com or any other booking sites. I actually found it using Google Earth. Um, I actually used the Google Earth on my computer, I went down to the street view and I just traveled up and down the streets, panning to the left, panning to the right, and I saw this place, and then I actually Googled this place and found it. I do have a website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can have a look at that. Um, prices are reasonable. The accommodation, as you can see, can't beat this. Beachfront. And the facilities here, they're on a minimal, they don't have a restaurant. They do serve breakfast though in the mornings. You have a choice of a standard breakfast or you can upgrade to a Filipino breakfast for 50 peso or you can upgrade to a American breakfast for 85 peso. 
Um, they do sell drinks down at the lobby, beers, water, coke. This, this hair is so cheap, it's so heavy. Oh my god, this solid wood chair. Weighs, oh, weighs about 100 kilos. Anyway guys, this is it. This is AJ's place in Oslo. Uh, tomorrow we're going whale watching. I know most of you guys will say, what are you doing? But hey, everyone else says the same thing, but they still come here and they still do it. So we want to experience it. We've come here, you only do this once in a lifetime. Um, these people, many things can be said about these people, but they need to survive, they need, they need to make a living. And some of these things you just can't stop. So here's to the whale watching in Oslo. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining us on this video. Hopefully tomorrow we can take you with us, have a look at these whales, see what they're all about, see if it's a bigger hype, a bigger buzz as, what mo as most people claim it is. I'm sure it will be. Um, I'm thinking it could be even a bit scary having these big monsters coming up close to you. So until then, I'll sign off and I'll see you in the morning. Cheers. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So until tomorrow, peace out. Okay, so that's the internet speed test here at AJ's. That's inside the room. <laughs> I'm only getting two bars on the actual Wi-Fi. I don't think it's any better out here. Okay, so they look to be better outside here on the terrace. They've obviously got their router down there somewhere in the room. So again, nothing crash hot like in Manila or in the biggest cities of the Philippines, but still not too bad if you're going to upload videos, download, it's acceptable. Alright, we're stepping out for a meal, going out for dinner. We've had uh, Big J's recommended to us, so we're going to go check that out and see what that's all about. We've had a look at the menu. Um, AJ's have a menu there that they showed us, and it looks pretty tasty. So let's go and have some BJ's. Sounds a bit sus, but yeah, let's go and check out BJ's. All right, well, we walked into, it wasn't BJ's, it was Big J's. And it looked alright, but there's no one there. Now, I gauge a restaurant's quality based on patrons. If there's people inside, that means the food's good. 
and it also means the food's rotating quickly and you're going to get fresh food but if there's no one in there you're most likely going to get food from the day before on 6 p.m. now so we're going to go and check out another restaurant down near the the um, what is it with the waiting area where you go down to the whale watching I think it was Chetson's or Chenson's we'll check that one out and see how that see how that's going see if there's any people in there Okay, so we've just come back from MJ's Sunrise, I think it is, resort. Looks like a really nice place to eat, but very limited on the food. So, strike that one off for us. Most of their menu was not available. So we're going to go back to Big J's and check their, check their food out. Looks like they've got a larger selection, but it just sort of a secluded place there's no real fresh wind coming off the ocean but they might have the better food selection so let's go and check them out okay so we've come into the big jay's restaurant when we first arrived there's no one here but all of a sudden everyone's arrived so it's looking good so far. There's a lot of reviews up on these walls here. People, customers come in and they leave the reviews on the wall. Over there. And over there. So they've got a large selection of, looks like it's just traditionally Filipino. Cuisine. We'll let you know how we go after we finish our meal. Lechon Kawali. Shut up.
real quick. restaurant who that was a meal and a half some of the best buncet canton I've ever had some of the best lumpia rolls I've ever had the fish my wife had I've never never liked it but that was I could eat that that was beautiful um, the lechon kawali oh, words can't describe just sensational uh, what else did you have the squid the stuffed grilled squid, sensational. I'm not a big seafood man, but I like that. That was nice. And what else do we have? Lumpia. Yeah, I said that. Squid. Yeah, squid. One set. Yep, said that. Uh, your lechon kawali. Yep, said that. In mango shake. And the mango yeah, shakes. Four rice. Sensational. If you come into Oslo and you're staying anywhere around this whale watching area I recommend Big J's restaurant we're definitely going back tomorrow for lunch if we can make it otherwise we're going back for dinner um, now we're heading back to our to our room it's early 7 30 but by the time we have a shower relax charge up some batteries for tomorrow um, and hit the sack so thanks for sharing today's little trip today's little adventure 
from, uh, where, where did we come from? Takloban. We come from Takloban. We're in Cebu now. Oslov in Cebu and we're doing some whale watching tomorrow. So join us on the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of my future uploads. So until the next one, guys, thanks for joining us on this. See you on the next one. Peace. This is what we're going to go to sleep to. The waves lapping up on the shore. Beautiful night, actually. That was just a magnificent meal. As you can see, nice and full. We'll be going back there definitely. So thank you, Big J's. Highly recommend. Highly recommend Big J's in Oslo. Alright, time to go. Shower, bed. Must set up food. Must set up food, exactly. So let's go inside, have a shower, go to bed, and let's do this again tomorrow. Peace. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh.